he's looking great. We had a great camp last time as well, and uh, and then through injury, obviously, we had a little bit of a rest, and then he came back, but he was ticking over and he was keeping himself fit, even in that time. When he came back to me, he was in good shape then. So we're just building on great foundations anyway. Ollie's ability to learn is his, is his best attribute. I was lucky um, in getting a, a good student. I mean, he's, he's one of those chaps that can learn through visual demonstration and also verbal. Because he was a professional athlete before I got him, in, in, a, in a sport that takes a tremendous amount of cardio and strength, it, you know, that gave him great um, stead for this. The, the power and torque he can create through a short range of movement is, is immense. He almost ripped my bicep tent now. And, you know, I'm dealing with heavy, strong guys all the time. Fortunately, when Ollie won the British title in the UK, he fought South Pole as well. So he's not going to unfamiliar ground. Ollie, I know, is looking to make a statement and to show everyone, you know, what he's capable of and what he will be capable of. But I study fighters. I've studied the, the gentleman in question, and I study Ollie. I see Ollie being a level, um, if not two levels, above this gentleman um, with with technique and with skill. I see the fight being very fast, being very brutal. And I can only see one, one victor, and, uh, and that's Ollie.